Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. I am working on the first page for my September 2018 Mini Kit Monday. And I'm trying to decide whether to use the cream color cardstock or the white. Of course, I chose the cream. And I'm going to start off putting some drops and splatters by the Bombay India ink. It comes in many colors, but this color today I'm using is called sepia. Now, I haven't used it in a while. And the pigment got all clogged up into the nozzle and I needed to use a baby wipe to get it out. And of course it did come out fine. Um, and I wanted to, um, you know, have different color drops, you know, some large ones, some splatters. And I find it uh, funny that I go to all this trouble and you can see very few of it whenever I am completed this layout. So the, the yellow is a Vibes, it's called Mustard Seed, and it does separate. And the best way to blend it all together is to rub the bottle between your hands back and forth. And I just use the nozzle to spray, I mean, to sprinkle it. Now there you can see the, the sketch that I'm using. I love to use sketches. And this is by Page Maps for September 2018. Uh, you can go to their website to find some other wonderful sketches. Every month uh, she has uh, wonderful sketches and um, samples to look at. All right. So one thing I find is that as I put these down, the cream color cardstock that is the base is just a tad longer than the paper that I'm putting down. And so I end up trimming that off here in just a bit. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love about making these kits is I want to make sure that all the papers that I get match because I really want to incorporate as many different color papers on my pages as I can. Now these photos here, I'm really trying to stay just true to the sketch. And I picked three photos that were taken last year here in Texas. It's nowhere near being fall and maybe not where you are either, but I am so looking forward to the fall uh, season that I just wanted to get started on this early. Now these were taken at the Dallas Arboretum and every year they have a wonderful display of pumpkins. And the one that I am putting on the yellow cardstock, and I wanted to say the papers that I'm using for the matting is by Lawn Fawn. And it has a little bit of a wood grain, uh, but you can't really tell. It just reads as a solid, uh, but it does add a little bit of texture. And the anyway, so I was mentioning the one that I put on the yellow. That is not a black and white photo. That is actually pumpkins that were there. And I don't see pumpkins that are kind of gray in color very often. But I wanted to make sure that I put that on this because um, going to the Arboretum, there was such a variety of pumpkins and gourds there. Um, I wanted to have as much represented. Now, I absolutely love these uh, dies. They are by Cheeky Studio. I got them in when I went to the retreat a couple weeks ago. Uh, she made them exclusively for us. And I just love, love, love them. But um, I tried many different ways to use them. They don't make it. Um, I, really, I think they're so cute. I'm just going to have to... to find a photo that's going to go with those adorable uh, die cuts. Now being my first page, you know, I feel like I want to use everything. And I know a lot of people feel this way, but it's like, you know, I got to be real. You know, I, I can't, you know, make it all uh, fit. It won't look right, you know. So I just choose some of my favorite things. Now, I have to say there is that, uh, paper that is down there on the bottom right hand edge uh, that I got at the retreat it was kind of stuck on something um, I think it must have been somebody's trash but I'm telling you it worked perfect for what I was looking for once again one man's trash is another man's treasure 
Now, the thing that I'm putting over here on the left-hand side, that is some lace. Uh, it had some adhesive on the back, but it's pretty old. And the paper backing for the adhesive just fell off. So I absolutely love this Freckle Fawn chipboard. I think I just blow through this. Um, I, um, I love it. I love the colors of it. Um, I love all the pieces on it. Everything seemed to go except for the coffee mug. I didn't want to use that, but that's okay. So uh, what I ended up using, um, and it's really hard to see here, but you'll be able to see them in the still shots. So what I'm gluing down now is, is a chip that from the chipboard um, package. And it is like a scalloped uh, edge with, um, with its plaid. And I'm punching holes for this. I, I guess you would call it a frame. I don't know. But you have to put brads in it to put it down. And I wanted to make sure that I did that. But I can't do it right now because nothing is glued down. So I'm going to have to put the brads on after um, everything is adhered down. Now, I do like to have different heights on my layout. Uh, this one, uh, the texture has the lace. It has October is a wood veneer, which came from Freckle Fawn. It has some of those uh, wooden buttons that I love. One has a pumpkin, one has a maple leaf, and it says fall. You can barely see that, but, but it does. And then there is chipboard, the little pumpkin that's up there on hello today. Uh, it was like a speech bubble, but I trimmed off that little, you know, V at the bottom. And those two hearts that I put on the O's for hello today, they don't stay there. So not to worry. This is coming together so nice. You know, it's a... Uh, I just love fall and I, this probably took me maybe 45 minutes to to make so I'm very happy to see that now my favorite way to use washi is to put it on the back um, you know on top of brads and now I'm just gluing down the lace uh, I, I could tell that that lace was going to be at the bottom of my page protector if I didn't do something all right, so uh, there are some sequins that I don't make you watch me put on, but you'll be able to see them in the still shots. So, um, so here are some stickers. These are, you know, the planner stickers. And one says, you amaze me. It's a great day. Learn something new every day. And then at the bottom on the plaid, I put one and it says, not afraid to be me. So I end up putting three of the plaid hearts on. I love those hearts. And I wanted to make sure I put the year on there. So I put 17, but it didn't have an apostrophe. So I had to draw that in. No big deal. All right, there we go. Here's the still shots. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you follow the other ladies that are in this group this month. We have a new person, Jojo Kelly is joining us and I'll put everyone's link um, below. Make sure you check out everyone's channel. That would be Becky, Daisy, Dolly, Kathy, and Jojo. Thanks a lot guys and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.